Hey guys, it's Evil Anarchy, and I'm back with another Nikkei video. Sorry I didn't upload the last event, the Lionheart event, I think it was called. Um, but my record crashed uh, midway through, and I didn't realize. Hopefully that doesn't happen today. Um, I'll be keeping a closer eye on it today. But uh, let's get into the event. I think this one is called Dirty Backyard. I I've missed a few days. Um... I signed on one day, so I already got one day sign in, but I didn't, I, I think this is like day three actually, or day four. I'm not, I'm not totally up to caught up, but, uh, we don't need to do all this. Let me see. Let me just do some of this. Is there anyone cool? I don't know. I wouldn't know even if it hit me in the face. Claim my reward here. I like rewards. Uh, do we get a recruitment? We do. Moran. Moran, Moran. Okay. <clears throat> now then, let's see. Which areas do we have left? Fog Hollow is the only one remaining. Nice. Let's give it a once-over and head back. I like your glasses. Entrance to Fog Hollow. Oh, this is a new background, I think. Ugh. This fog is ridiculous. I can barely see anything whenever I come here. Ka ka. My throat is killing me as well. You can probably thank the local factory for that. It's always belching out plumes of smog. And that ends up producing more fog as well around this area. Must be a hell, must be hell living in this place. Moran? Oh, hey. Long time no see. Well, well, welcome. What are you doing in these parts? You didn't even call. Have I ever contacted you? Have I ever contacted you before I came here? You're sweating an awful lot. Are you not feeling well? N no, no, I, I'm, I feel perfectly fine. I must have worked too hard yesterday, that's all. Well, you certainly are a... Well, you certainly are a lover of hard work. Anything going on lately that I should know about? No, there's not much going on. Nothing at all, actually. Are you sure about that? You're not lying to me, are you? You're acting strangely. You seem like you're trembling. Honestly, there's nothing going on here. Now that everyone knows this place is the Peony Association's turf, nobody dares touch a hair on our heads. We can't thank you enough for watching over our village. There's no need to grovel. I'm just doing my job. We promised to guard this place, and so we will. That's what loyalty is, is it not? Loyalty. Right. You always were enamored with loyalty. At any rate, you should take it easy. You're liable to collapse at this rate. Okay. I'll be more careful. I can't quite make it out, thanks to this fog. But is that the factory over there? Is that a smaller one next to it? That's new. That's... that... that's right. We expanded and created an add-on to the factory. That would certainly explain why you're overworked. What are you all producing over there? Um, uh, just run-of-the-mill pharmaceuticals. If you want, we can share some with you. Ah, uh, what was that? I think it came from the warehouse. Startled by the scream, everyone rushes over to the warehouse. What the? Inside the warehouse, dozens of people lie suspended in midair, dangling from the ends of their of different ropes. The grisly and surreal scene is enough to render everyone speechless, and they all stand there momentarily in silence, stunned. Mor Moran, the wall. On the wall opposite of them are crudely written words which have been scrawled using deep crimson liquid, so dark it is impossible to ascertain if it is blood or paint. Moran did this? 
What? Is it saying that I killed these people? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Moraine's killing people. I'm just kidding. She's not killing people. We know she's not killing people. This is a cool backdrop here. It's your fault. Exit. Crisis effort. Overcome. Go back. Tears. Something shop. Coffee. Billiard shop. Frowny face. Robin? Does this say hell? Or hell? I don't know. Whatever EL ends. Whatever ends in EL. Looks like there's people here, too. I wonder if there are people in front of her or... Look to her men. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's a different outfit for someone. It kind of looks like someone. I can't tell. This is a really cool layout, though. This is probably a cooler one. This is probably the coolest one I've seen so far. Well, at least in a while. Typical 12 levels. Oh god. Um Very well. I can Let's go. Okay, that's everyone we've needed. Uh let's add in Can I wait you and on this mission, Commander? I shall you take and, the lead. You know, let's get that 70 so we could do a 30. Uh is any one of these a 2? Yeah, you're a 2. Still clear who gets what. <coughs> Let's just put all the gangsters in here. I like how they put the additional reward ones at the top now. I don't think that used to be like that. So that makes it much easier for people to know. Because a lot of people didn't know. I don't know if you knew that. But, like, a lot of people were just choose whoever. And, I mean, I get it. I did that the first few times, too. But it's pretty easy to figure out. And I'm glad they're doing that. Because it's a little misleading for new players. Okay, but let's get into this story. Sigh. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Moran covers her throbbing head with both her hands. No. Sitting here moping won't solve anything. Moran pulls out her cell phone. Oh god, I have to click. Hey. Guys, I'm in big trouble. If it's money you're asking for, allow me to say up front. No. I don't want to hear anything about how you're lost or you don't have any idea where you are. It's none of those. I really am in big trouble. I've been accused of killing. Sorry, just a second. I got, I just got an urgent call. Actually, I've got to go as well. Hey, wait, this is urgent. Guys, hello? All right, you knucklehead. What did you do this time? Well, er, I've got some work to attend to. I'll be back. Something just came up for me as well, actually. I've got to take care of this. Talk to you later. Sakura? Rosanna? Are you seriously dipping out like this? Hello? Wow. You've got to be kidding me. Moran drops her head down and... Her head, her forehead bangs on the table in front of her. Ooh, hey, dude. Easy there, Moran. There's no need to take it out on that innocent table. It's so unfair. Why would I kill people out there? Why would I kill those people out of the blue? I found out something. I found out something, but I think it'll only make you more upset. What is it? Listen carefully. In various places around the Outer Rim, there have been reports of mass murder and eternal strife, and they're pinning it all on you. What? I don't know all the details, but all the evidence eventually... But all the evidence ev evidently points to you. And there have been people testifying against you. This can't be happening. You don't actually believe it, do you? Of course not. How could I? But the same can't be said for everyone. These rumors have apparently already spread as far as the Ark. I don't think this is a matter which we can handle internally. I suggest you ask Sakura and Rosanna for assistance. I just try... I just try to do exactly that. Apparently they're experiencing issues as well. They seem to have their hands full. Well then? Well then, that means there's only one person we could turn to. 
Who? The man you care for so much. Me, Jin. The cadet. Oh, come on. Why am I a cadet now? Uh, you know, having all these different nicknames, you know, at first it wasn't that big of a deal, but now it's kind of getting to me. To the battlefield has begun. Whoa, is this a new background? Open I don't remember this. Say, uh, Commander. Sorry, Maybe it's not. I don't remember a wall, though. Please cover me. This is very Outer Rim, right? Like, because there's a giant wall in the Outer Rim. The sound of the song of victory is here. What a mess. Tell me about it. If I was the only one affected by this, I could handle it. But if any of my subordinates, or the people living in areas that I oversee, are affected because of these rumors, that I cannot and will not endure. So, Moran kneels down before me, lowering her head until her forehead touches the floor. I'm asking... No, I'm begging you to help me prevent the pe the peony 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 association peony association from being torn apart to ensure that those around me don't suffer needlessly. I hope you can find it in you to trust me and help me clear my name. Huh? I grab Moran's hand and lift her back up. Okay, I'll trust you. You do? You really trust me? Of course. Haha, <laughs> those words are music to my ears. I can't tell you how reassuring it is to hear you say that. Thank you so much. I knew you were a real one. Do you know what your next move is? Not really. I figured going back to the Fog Hollow would be a good starting point. If I dig around and ask questions, something is bound to come up. This is the Outer Rim we're talking about out here. This is the Outer Rim we're talking about here. Won't it be a little dangerous just for the two of us to go? Oh yeah, sorry. I didn't think that far ahead. Sakura and Rosanna are busy right now, though. Then we'll have to get help from the scavengers. The what? Hey, partner. Hi. Is it just you here? Freema is zoinked out in the corner as usual. Milk stepped out for a moment. Why? What's up? There's a small issue which I might need your help with. In a, ah, an assignment, is it? Let's hear it. I feel sugar in onto the details. You're not pulling my leg, are you? What do you mean? You're so you're, you're telling me you really didn't kill those people? Of course I didn't. That entire village is under the Peony Association's protection. I visit them every month. They're like family to me. How could I ever harm them, let alone murder them? What about the places you aren't that aren't managed by the Peony Association? The same goes for those areas, too. Why would I randomly harm people for no discernible reason? That's why it's so baffling that there's all this incriminating evidence against me. Why would I ever kill those people? You said that all these separate incidents occurred in a short time period, right? Right. Sounds like an investigation is in order. All right, I'll take on this assignment. Shouldn't you contact the other members of the squad? Nope, no need. I can handle this on my own. Was Sugar the one in the s screen? You must be really strapped for cash. Perceptive as always, partner. I've recently come across some parts that I want to add to Black Typhoon, and those parts don't come cheap. Considering what a prominent figure Moran is in the underworld, I pressure, I presume that the compensation will be appropriately substantial. Hold on a minute. The Peony Association isn't exactly flush with cash. You know that as well as I do. Let's get ready to head out to the, let's get ready to head to the Outer Rim. I'll see you two later. Okay. It's hard doing this because, like, you're trying to make them not sound like the same hard. character. Snipers incoming. There ain't no snipers.
There ain't even raptures, man. They're all dead. The sound of the song of victory is here. Here I am. Oh, hey, sugar. Oh, my goodness. Sugar is dressed differently than usual. Your outfit. It's been a long time since I've seen you wear that. I used to dress like this when I lived in the Outer Rim. You should dress like that more often, Sugar. You used to live in the Outer Rim? You didn't know? She had quite the reputation. What made you throw that old thing back on? It's comfortable to wear when you're operating in the Outer Rim. You're telling me that thing is comfortable? No way. Enough talking. Let's get a move on. All right, let's go. It's always reassuring to have an old pal along for the ride. What was that? Nothing. She didn't mean anything by it. Okay, first of all, how is she going to ride a motorcycle in a dress like that? Like, that's... Uh... Entrance to the Outer Rim. Oh, they got some giant guns there. As soon as we enter the Outer Rim... We're greeted by the sight of dead bodies piled up like lumber. Just a little more and we can get out. Throngs of people are clamoring up the mountain of corpses, reaching their hands out towards the top of the partition. Mist! We need mist! Those who are not clamoring over the corpses remain groveling on the ground on their hands and knees as if praying. It is a gruesome, twisted scene to behold. What? What is going on? I haven't a clue, but whatever it is, it looks serious. Let's get some answers. We approach someone who is leaning against the partition. Hey, what in the world happened here? I'm dead. If this doesn't stop, I'm dead. Huh? I need to hurry. I need mist. Is there any mist anywhere? The man who was nervously biting his nails suddenly bolts upright. Do you have any mist? Mist? What's that? I need to find mist quick. I need it bad. Moran, yes, that's who we need. What? She's the one who distributes it. Yes, that's it. Must find her. Gotta find her. Can't die. Gonna die. The man turns and walks back right past us as if we were invisible. What the? Did I hear that correctly? Or did that guy just mention my name? Let's ask someone else. Oh, okay, okay. As we turn around, we see a man who appears to be walking normally. We approach him and strike up a conversation. Sorry, just a moment. Yes? Uh, are you okay? You're bleeding. The man has a deep laceration across his stomach, which is bleeding profusely. Despite this, he doesn't appear to be in any pain and instead is smiling blissfully. Don't move. Let's take care of that wound. What are you talking about? I'm perfectly fine. Wait, are you Moran? Y yes, but why? Everyone, our savior has arrived. Moran is here. Moran, she's finally here. She's... Blah, cough, cough. Shouting at the top of his lungs, the man begins to vomit up blood and collapses to the ground. Hearing his cries, the surrounding people come barreling towards us. Save us, otherwise we're all dead. Please have mercy on us. Give us the mist, please. I beg you. What is happening? Several people from the crowd reach out and claw at my arms and legs. Wait, wait, let's use our words, everyone. Moran is overwhelmed by the crowd and is not able to move. Ugh, ugh. The groping hands become increasingly relentless, tearing at us. Neither of us is able to extra extricate ourselves from the pulsating mass of hands. A gunshot rings out, causing the crowd to disperse. Partner, hurry and get on. Time to get out of here. Moran, let's go. Uh, okay. Vroom. With Sugar's help, we're able to escape. Uh-oh, this seems like a serious situation, guys. This seems like a serious situation. Time to sing not on stage, but on the battlefield. Can you find me some time? Open up and say, ah, Commander. Wait, did Rosanna and I have a boost, but fucking Sakura did? 
That's kind of a weird thought now that I'm thinking about, like, the... And why is Enoch here? I don't really understand. Thank you for saving me. Partner, come here. What? Well, why? Sugar pulls me towards her. Click. Then aims her weapon at Moran. I knew from the beginning something stunk about this whole operation. What are you hiding? Not only did you drag partner into this, you put his life at risk. But you just stood there and let that crowd overtake you. Were you planning on silencing them because they mentioned your name? So you're suspicious of me, is that it? How could I not be? They all recognized you, and they kept asking you to give them more... To give them mist. They were practically worshipping you. That tells me you are the one distributing mist to those people. Well, wait, wait. Those people kept talking about mist, but I don't even know what mist is. You expect me to believe that? I really don't know what it is. You're a liar. No, no. Something stinks. You're right about that, but it's not me. How do you know all about all this? What do you mean? How did you know what mist is? Come to think of it, that's not the only suspicious thing about you. You knew about the Peony Association. You knew that the Peony Association didn't have close to enough money to pay you. Yet you still took on this assignment. When we saw that gruesome scene after arriving, you were the only one who wasn't rattled. Almost as if you anticipated it. Don't try and turn this against me. You're the one who nearly got partner killed. And now you're trying to justify your actions. You leave me with no choice. Just as Sugar is about to pull the trigger. Tap. Someone hands... Shh. Someone hands just surges. Someone's hand surges forward and stops Sugar. You. It's been a while, Sugar. What do you say we put the weapon down and discuss this in a civil manner? Boy, am I glad to see that outfit again. Seeing you wearing that makes me feel ten years younger. <laughs> Sticking your underlings on me, are you? I did not. I didn't call him. How did you know I was here? You forget who I am, Moran. I'm the brain of the Peony Association. Tracking you down was easy as pie. Sugar, Moran really doesn't know anything. That's absurd. How can she not know? If anything, I'd much rather like to ask you how it is that you how is it that you do know about mist? I'm not at liberty to reveal that information. Sounds awfully suspicious to me. What in the world is this mist everyone keeps talking about? And how come everyone is so crazy about it? This is mist. Jin takes out what appears to be candy in an, in a colorful wrapper. Is it candy? To the average person, it might seem that way. But this is no ordinary candy. Oh god, it's drugs. They're drugs. Don't push yourselves too hard. You're so cute, Commander. Cover me. Please cover me. I'll go once I fix the sound. <laughs> Can you buy me some time? Was this level three? Level four? With high risk comes high reward. Isn't that why we fight? Quarter of the way through. What do you mean? This is an extremely dangerous narcotic. Everyone calls it mist. When you consume it, your mind goes easy. As if an envelope. As if an. As if an envelope. As if an. As if enveloped by a thick fog. It's apparently a euphoric experience. Does it have any side effects? Does it have any side effects? Like not feeling pain or anything similar? If you take too much, yes. I've heard users can become impervious to pain. You can also experience hallucinations and become aggressive. That's exactly what we saw before. Perhaps they consume some of this stuff? Sounds prob sounds prob sounds probable. You see, she didn't know about any of this. Still harboring any doubts about her. Just look at her face. Surely you could tell how wrong she feels. Maybe. 
Sugar finally lowers her weapon. Don't think this means that all my doubts are dispelled. Those junkies were demanding mist from Moran. And they all but dropped to their knees and exalted her. And at least we forget... At least we forget all those murder charges she's been accused of. I don't blame you. All these things you've just described, I've seen them as well. People cried while cradling dead family and friends, howling that Moran is the killer. Others saying that, that mist can be acquired from her. Every last one of them spoke with the utmost confidence, utterly convinced of what they were saying. Moran has been with me the entire morning. There's no way she could have done anything here in the Outer Rim, criminal or otherwise. Precisely. She also has an alibi for the previous incidents as well. Since she was at the Peony Association the entire time. The most damaging evidence against her is that message that was scrawled on the wall, which accused her of being the killer. That's only circumstantial evidence. You're right. But be that as it may, all, those, all these people are saying the same thing. It feels to me as if someone else is behind this. Controlling them. Who could that be? I haven't found out just yet. But I did find out whether where that mist stuff is being produced. You know the exact location? Where? Fog Hollow. The first village where you were falsely accused. And our next destination? That's where they're producing the mist. What? The prelude to the battlefield has begun. Goodbye. Let's give you a little pat. To Capo. Cover me. Wait till I get my reloading done. <coughs> After all that, I deserve a compliment. Put on pants. Looks like you knew about this all along, sugar. Is that why you suspected Moran? Yes. Fog Hollow is Peony Association's territory. And apparently all this mist stuff is being produced there. Not only that, production volume has recently increased 20-fold. And you tell me that person overseeing this place has no clue this is ha any of this is happening, was happening? You'll have to excuse me if I find that a little hard to believe. I swear it, I didn't know. Believe me, please. Fog Hollow has always been bathed in impenetrable fog that makes it impossible to see everything. Sure, it seems like a rough place to live, but everyone here seems friendly enough. I trusted them, so I never considered poking my head inside the factories. I didn't want to disturb them. But you're telling me we they were making this stuff the entire time? Yes. It seems they've been using those factories to secretly produce mist. Okay, first off. Let's assume that this is true and that it is being manufactured there. Is it being sold there as well? That hasn't been confirmed yet. It is, however, in active circulation in active circulation on Darknet. That makes it difficult to discern who the suppliers are. Have you seen it being made? Not personally, but I've gotten this information from a reliable source. So you didn't see it with your own eyes. In other words, we're not 100% certain about any of this. What? So you're on the villager side? Yes, I trust them. I haven't seen anything myself, so we can't be too sure of anything. I need to visit these factories and talk to the people there myself. Why go out to all this trouble? How, could, how can you ask me that? What if these people are being framed just like how I, just like I am now? I've been wrongly accused, and everyone is eyeing me with suspicion. If I don't stand up for these people, who will? I understand how strange this may appear to you, but the residents of Fog Hollow are salt-of-the-earth individuals. Every day they break their backs trying to feed their families and fellow villagers. Their loyalty knows no bounds, and they wouldn't hesitate to give a stranger the shirt off their own back. 
even if it meant they themselves would go cold. That's why I need to see what's going on for myself. And what will you do then? If they are being framed, then I'll fight alongside them to protect the village. If it turns out to be true, I will destroy that place myself. Okay. Okay, let's go and find out what's going on. Actually, partner, why don't you head back? Why? You saw what just happened back there. If I hadn't been there, you two would have been up a creek without a paddle. Fortunately, we're fortunate to have escaped, but there's no guarantee we'll be lucky next time. I'm sorry, cadet. I got startled. I had no clue what was going on. I didn't know what to do. I put you in danger. I won't let it happen again. I'll protect you with my life, I promise. Very well. I trust you. Thank you. As Moran approaches me, Sugar grabs my hand and pulls me towards her. I don't think so. Until we get to the village until we get to the village and get to the bottom of all this, partner stays with me. Okay. Jin, let's go. Sorry, Moran, but I'll have to sit this one out. What? You know I'm no fighter. Besides, you're like a storm cloud. Wherever you go, bad luck follows. I can contribute as much as I can contribute just as much, if not more, from behind the scenes. I'll send some other members your way. You stay safe out there. The moment Jin finishes his speech, he darts off quickly, disappearing in a flash. <clears throat> That's no good. Let's go. Sugar and I take the lead and Moran following behind. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? You look dreadfully serious. Why are you so untrusting of Moran? What do you mean? You really got emotional back there. That's not like you. Then how am I usually? You're usually sharp and analytical. Objective, not emotional. On top of that, you usually spout nonsense, or I mean, you're always kind of kidding around. You usually try to kiss me any chance you get. So that's how you see me? And there's one more thing. If anything, if anything, I'd rather just, I'd rather like to ask you how it is that you know about Mist. I'm not at liberty to reveal that information. Yes, Fog Hollow is Peony Association's territory, and apparently all of this Mist stuff is being produced there. Not only that, production volume has recently increased 22 and you're telling me the person overseeing this play has no clue what was happening. You'll have to excuse me if I find that a little hard to believe. How did you already know everything about... How did you already know? How did you already know every? How did you already know everything about Fog Hollow and Mist? What is going on? Heh. <laughs> You're asking me a question that I can't really answer. How do you think I know? Have you been to Fog Hollow before? You're as sharp as ever. Yes, you're right. I went to Fog Hollow not long ago. I've I'd gotten a request. What kind of request? I'm sorry, but that's confidential. I'll fill you in later. For now, what I can tell you is that it's related to the village. That's why I went there. Then I then I find out about the mist that was being produced. But when I got there, you know what the village told villagers told me? No, I don't. <coughs> Let me tell you something. You have you have no idea what how dangerous this stuff is. The harm it can do to people. Of course I know. And yet you're going to continue making it? Well, wait. We didn't want to do... Th to do. Th we didn't want things to be like this either. But if I don't make this, we're dead. We have conscientious... We have conscientiousness, too. That's why we initially made so little of it. Just enough to get by. But then the higher-ups threatened us and demanded that we make more. They said that if we didn't comply, they'd kill us. Eep. You shouldn't have I shouldn't have told you all that. Are the Peony Association the ones who ordered you to do this? Yes. They told you about the Peony Association were the ones making them do this? Yes. They were making mist under duress. Their lives were being threatened. Man, woman, and child alike. Why didn't you stop them from making it? If I had, I would have been sentencing the entire village to death. They were weak people being taken advantage of by the strong. I had no choice but to let it slide. 
After that, you and Moran came looking for me in, uh, in order to find out the truth and keep you safe. I accepted. You nearly got killed back there, so I apologize if I got a bit emotional. Having said that, I'm still not letting Moran off the hook just yet. I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on her. I see. No, wait. So you saw Miss being produced in the village with your own eyes? Right. Then why didn't you tell Moran? Even if I told her, she wouldn't have believed me. That's just the type of person she is. Once she trusts someone, she'll have faith in them until the end. Her belief in those people will never waver until she sees it for herself. <coughs> Arian uh, got some issues there. Commander, be careful. Oh, I'm back in just in time for it to win. I am glad we wrapped this up before the tea got cold. Would you not agree, Pine? I'll settle this according to our own rules. Oh, and another one. Nice. No time to waste. I am glad we wrapped this up before the tea got cold. Would you not agree, Pine? We're almost there. Once we're past, once we're, once we pass through this area. Moran, is that you? Yes. Please, can you give me some mist? I, I'll, I'll die without it. Is this what you're looking for? Moran takes out mist that Jin showed us earlier. Yes, that's it. Moran, what are you? As I step forward to stop Moran, Sugar intervenes. Hold on. Let's just watch for a moment. Okay. Just one, one little hit is all I need. Like that one you're holding. Please, can I have it? Please, I'm begging you. Sure, you, I can give it to you. But in return, you've got to answer me a que you got to answer a question for me. Anything. There are a lot of prying eyes on, and ears here, though. Let's go somewhere quiet. The man leads us to a sketchy alley. Here, take it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, time to answer my questions. Hey, yeah, yeah, yes? You're no junkie. You've never tried mist before, have you? What, what, what are you? I can't tell. I can tell by looking at your eyes. I've seen people who are hooked on mist. Their eyes are blank as a corpse's. Yours, on the other hand, are crystal clear. Well, what kind of claptrap is that? Moran punches a hole through the wall next to the man's head. Ugh! Don't kill me. You can't even see his eyes. He's got like weird shit on his eyes. What? What? Afraid that I'll hurt you? Or worse? That doesn't make any sense either. All the others were jonesing for a fix. Couldn't care less about their well-being. They rushed in headlong asking for mist. Uh, uh. Which brings me to the my question. Who ordered this stuff? You look like someone's underling. Who the hell ordered you to do all this? I, c I can't say. No? Maybe you just need a little convincing. The man desperately attempts to strife to stifle the sound of his vibrating phone. The vibration continues. Hmm? What is that? Hand it over. No, no, please! Hey, partner, catch. What the? When did you? I catch the phone and open it up. Oh god, who's it gonna be? Hey. What are you doing? How could you bungle this so badly? All I said was that I need you to need some more time. And yet you're incapable of carrying out even the simplest of orders. And now you've made a mess of everything. You've embarrassed me. And you broke your promise. Therefore your life is forfeit. Ah. Actually, you have a son, don't you? Perhaps he will fare better than his pathetic father. You could take a you could take a small amount of solace in that. The man frantically snatches his phone back and reads the messages. Then, <laughs> sixo, you dirty rotten son of a bitch, sixo. 
Huh? That sound, that's... Cadet, get down! A massive explosion rings out, and the man is no more. Dude blew up. He had bombs in his goggles Commander, or something. Be careful. Or in his phone, I guess. I don't know. I'm reloading. Snipers incoming. Sorry. Open up to it soon. Ah, uh, Commander. I am glad we wrapped this up before the tea got cold. Would you not agree, Pine? Thanks to Moran's sugar springing into action, we were able to evade the explosion, but just barely. Cadet, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Thank goodness. Who was that guy? His body has been rigged with explosives. He brought us here so he could blow himself up and take us with him. I don't think that's it. He seemed just as surprised as us when that beeping started. Besides, I had barely put any pressure on him and he was already begging for his life. Hardly the type to be a suicide bomber. If that had been his aim, he could have just done it as soon as he brought us here. Hmm. Well darn, considering that you read, you've read this message, that must mean you're still alive. What? What a useless trash that man was. Failing me even in death. Are you the one responsible for that explosion? The message was read, but there was no response. Oh no. Did you get a message from 6-0? I'm not sure. Is this the one? Sure, the message is sugar. Yeah. Are they from the same sender? From our dearly departed friend's phone? The exact same. Then that must mean Sixo is the one responsible for this. Sixo, I swear I've heard that name before. But you're not sure? No, it sounds familiar, but I'm not positive. Well, allow me to fill you in. She's deeply involved in the dark net. And there are rumors going around that she may be the master. Why would someone like why would someone like her attack us? Good question. Maybe she's trying to stop us from reaching Fog Hollow. What what makes you think that? I don't really have a reason, just a gut feeling. At any rate, let's hurry and get there. Fog hollow. A thick fog enshrouds the entire village to the extent where you can barely see three feet in front of you. The moment we enter the fog, say, save me. We hear the sounds of gunfire. Can't get these clothes dirty. Wait till I get my reload. Sorry, I'll get back to it soon. To couple some time. Who are they shooting at? The organization will be proud of this outcome. I don't know about that, Sakura. Armed residents approach those who have been gunned down, rummaging and looting the bodies of for mist. Moran approaches them silently and snatches the mist from them. The armed residents surround us. Give it back! Our lives depend on it! These fools tried to abscend, abscond with it. Did you make this yourselves here in this village? Yes. Why, why would you do such a thing? You ordered us to. What do you mean? I would never have issued such an order. How do you know, Sixo? Fess up. So you already know. I'll just, I'll, I'll tell you how I know her. Our entire village has been held hostage by that sadist. She's using that mist that you're holding against us. Why didn't you say anything? Telling you wouldn't have changed anything. How can you be so sure? You didn't even try to tell us. If we want to stay alive, then we need to produce mist every day. It's not that much, so leave us be. Is that what you would have had us say to you? Sixo caught us making mist, 
and she blackmailed us ever since, forcing us to produce more and more. You have to help us. If we said that, do you really think you would have come to our aid? Of course I would have. You all are under the protection of the Peony Association. We value loyalty above all else. Betrayal is not in our vocabulary. If only I had reached out before it came to this. Before betraying us. I would have helped you somehow. Moran, you remember the factory? Where you saw those people? Don't tell me. Yes, that's right. They were used in exam as an example. To show us what would happen if we requested help or failed to meet the quota. We were so scared. So all of this is because of Sixo? Leave the mist here and leave. If we can't meet our quota, we're all dead. Absolutely not. I can't do that. It's because of this poison that the entire outer rim is in chaos. And you want to continue, continue peddling it? Get rid of it all right now. If you don't, I will. Unarmed residents rush out and cling to Moran. Please save us, Moran. We have to do this to survive. Sixo planted explosives through the entire throughout the entire village. Please, I don't want to die. You fools. If you're not above begging, why didn't you ask for help sooner? I could have helped you, and those people wouldn't have had to die. Why? Why? Please, please spare us. Let go of it. I said let go. Sugar, what are you doing? Sugar holds onto Moran's hand, which is firmly clenching the mist. You, can, you can't take it. Leave these people alone. Time to sing not on stage, but on the battlefield. Huh, again. I'll go once I fix Sniper the sound. Incoming. Cover me. After all that, I deserve a compliment. That was 10, so we got two more. You said it yourself. If you found out that mess was being made here, you destroy this factory and everything in it. I remember. And now that I've confirmed what's happening, that's exactly what I'll do. Yes! That's what I must do. I will tear down everything with my own hands. I won't let you do that. What? If, you, if you're if you intent on destroying this place, you'll have to go through me. If you think I'm kidding, try me. What is this? Why are you talking? Why are you taking this so far? I could ask you the same thing. We, protect we protected these people, and they thanked us by stabbing us in the back. As we speak, they're synthesizing a drug that kills people. Do you know how many lives are being ruined because of this mist? You've seen what it does to people. This is beyond the pale. This The time for judgment has come to Fog Hollow. The people here are powerless. Many people here did not want to produce mist, but their lives were being threatened. They had no choice but to make it. If you destroy this place, what do you think will happen to these people? They're already on the edge of the precipice. If you go through with this, You'll be try tying a noose around their necks and throwing them off. If that's what must happen, then so be it. They've left me with no choice. A crime is a crime. Countless innocents have suffered because of these people. If we want to solve this problem, we have to tear it out by the roots. I know this is the right decision. No, you don't. You don't know that. You haven't had any dealings with Sixo. Nothing you say will change my mind. Moran and Sugar stand opposed to each other, locked in a vicious stare down, each ready to pounce. Cadet, this place is dangerous. Come with me. Partner, this way. The situation is quickly becoming precarious. I believe Moran is right. I trust Moran, so I have faith in her decision. Thank you, Cadet. I'm sorry to hear I'm sorry to hear you say that, partner. Without any further discussion, the two Tinikes charge at each other. Everyone, into the factory! The villagers snatch the mist Morand 
mists Moran had dropped onto the ground, and then proceed to rush towards the factory. Sugar's fist slams into Moran's cheek. Ugh! Moran delivers a crushing body blow to Sugar. Ugh! A few moments later. Phew! Phew! Gasp! Gasp! Both their bodies are riddled with cuts and bruises, both large and small. Each of them is winded and attempting to catch their breath as I try to break up the altercation. A loud explosion rings out from the direction of the factory. Damn it! Vroom! Sugar revs the engine and zooms off on her bike towards the factory. We have to follow her. Cadet, wait! Give me just a minute. My leg is giving me a bit of trouble. You're bleeding. I'm fine. It's a little a little patching up, and I'll be as good as new. Quickly tend to Moran's injury. I can't thank you enough, cadet. Looks like I owe you another one. You even changed your mind about destroying the village? No. Well, to be exact, I don't have a choice. I'm a member of the Underworld Queen and the boss of the Peony Association. I know these people probably had little to little choice in the matter. I can't em emphasize all too well. They didn't know where else to turn. And they got scared. How could I not have noticed? Not have noticed. For months, I've watched them as they were, they went about their lives. But no matter how much I cared for them, some things cannot be excused. Damning the entire swaths of people in order to save yourself? Such a thing is unforgivable. Maybe things would have been different if they told me about this sooner. But it's too late to turn back now. Cadet, our members will be arriving soon. When they do, I plan to head straight to the factory. So let me ask you for one more favor. What is it? I would like you... I would like if you could go... If I would like if you could to go and talk with Sugar. She's been acting suspiciously before we even arrived at the, at the Outer Rim. I've been concerned about her for a while, but now I can see it, it clear as day. There's something going on between her and Sixo. Whatever that name gets meant, Whenever that name gets mentioned, she, her, she demurs. That might be why she's gotten so wrapped up in this thing emotionally. Since my stance in this matter is in opposition to Sugar's, there's no way I can objectively try to figure it out. What she's thinking of, what she's thinking or what her intentions are, that's not the case with you, though. I don't want to fight with my comrades. She saved you earlier, and I'm incredibly thankful for that. So I'm begging you, talk to her. And at least until our reinforcements arrive, I will. Thank you. Shirk has been take is talking to some of the injured villagers. Huh? Partner? What are you doing here? I was worried. Are these people injured because of that explosion earlier? Yes. Like they told us earlier, this village has been in rigged with explosives. When the bomb in the factory went off, these people got caught in the disaster. You're hurt too. It's okay, just a superficial scratch from Moran. No, it's not okay. I tend to Sugar's wound. Have you changed your mind re uh, regarding what we should do to this village? Absolutely not. I still feel the same. Does this have something to do with 6 0 by any chance? So, it was that obvious, huh? Yes, you're right. I received a request from 6 0 I'm to protect Frog Hollow. What? You remember how I mentioned that I used to live on the uh, in the Outer Rim? At the time, I was doing a lot of work for 6 -O. Dangerous assignments at that. When was this? A while back, when I was in a different squad. Back then, there wasn't a person in the Outer Rim who didn't know who I was. But I wasn't renowned. I was infamous. People in the streets avoided me. There were rumors that wherever I went, bad things were sure to follow. It's hard to imagine it's hard imagining you like that. That was the old me. I did think for myself I simply followed orders. I didn't think for myself I simply followed orders like a mindless machine. Until one day, I heard something terrible had happened because of my actions. You monster! You said you were a family. You said you would protect us. How could you do this? What are you gonna do now, huh? Answer me! After that, I washed my hands of 6 -O. I didn't want to have to recall any more memories like that one. Then why did you accept this request? My plan was to take a calculated risk and try and dig up some information on 6 -O. I figured at least 
I, I figured I could at least turn up something on her, but instead, I got myself involved in another gigantic mess, like I always do. She knew perfectly well this is how I would react to what was going on here. She had everything planned out in advance. She's the one who asked me to wear this outfit. You and Moran have mentioned this outfit several times. Yes, it's what I always wore back when I was operating in the Outer Rim. The instant anyone saw these clothes, they knew to stay away. They were like a scarlet letter. A marker letting everyone know the sins I'd committed. Sicko, Sixo wants to remind me of what I did. She doesn't want me to forget how big of a part I played in it all. That's why I want to stop Moran from doing this. Once a sin has been committed, it can never be undone. You can repent and you can regret, but you can never truly go back to the way you were. Step, step, step. Miss, miss, Moran is here. Partner, this is going to be one hell of a fight. So stay back, okay? Almost through the mission, guys. Let's do this. For the future. After this, we got one more cutscene, then a boss, and then a cutscene, so... Whew. This is an interesting story. I don't know if I like it so much. I think it's kind of cobbled together in a weird way. Um... I don't really think it adds to the characters After at all. all that, I, deserve a compliment. I mean, it does, but not in like a way I like. Like, it just sort of creates a backstory for Sugar. The sounds of heavy footsteps can be heard. Step, 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 step. They get closer and closer, then stop once they arrive at the factory entrance. Oh, hey, ooh, hey. Inside this factory are those who have spoken bit upon them our loyalty to them out for of selfish self-preservation they created a dangerous drug called mist it allowed it to proliferate through the outer rim they did all this despite them knowing what happens to those who consume it it's because of them that the outer rim has descended into chaos it's because of them that innocent people are suffering they've crossed the line and for that they must be punished take fog hollow and burn it to the ground as always, there is no plan. Knock down all those who stand in our way, take what those people cherish, and demolish it. Show them what happens to those who cross us. Show them what happens to the when you seek to disrupt the other orders. Ensure they never forget. Yes. Let's go. Crash. Whoosh. Moran and her subordinates rush into the factory. At that moment, sugar. Step aside, I don't want to fight you. Nor I with you. But I can't let you destroy these people's homes. I've been ordered to protect this place. I intend to follow those orders. I told you. We have to pull out the roots in order to get rid of the rot. This is how the underworld operates. Sorry to break it to you, but I turned my back on that long ago. From where I stand, those rules don't sit particularly well with me. You're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You've made it so those who can't defend themselves are guaranteed to die. What are they supposed to do? Do you think I'm doing this because I want to? This place is under the Peony Association's protection. I trusted these people. I thought they were loyal to us. But instead, they go and do this? Don't you remember? There was a similar incident before in the Outer Rim. Back then, we held back. We didn't pull the evil out by the roots, and everything fell to pieces. You have no idea how I feel. Moran... Fog Hollow is already under Sixo's control. On top of that, we've confirmed that mist is being produced here. Do you really think she'll pack up her things and go? That she'll ever leave this place alone? You seem to be well acquainted with her. You should know better than anyone what she'll do. Everyone, burn it all down. Roger, I won't let you do that. Each of the Nike is steadfastly holding on to their own idea of justice. Rush towards each other. Oh no, I think... Moran is right here. I think Sugar is kind of being stupid. And all they're doing all this, and I'm fighting these raptures, man. No time to waste. Please cover me. I'm the one who needs the help. <laughs> that boss was easier than the levels. With high risk comes high reward. Isn't that why we fight? Uh, escape. Thought I, I need to push tab. 
a day has passed. Reports indicate that Fog Hollow, a settlement in the Outer Rim, has been decimated pra practically overnight. The suspect has been deemed to be a high-ranking criminal leading a violent organization called the Peony Association. The individual is suspected of attempting to destroy evidence related to a production of a dangerous drugs. The central government is conducting an investigation into the matter. I recall the events of the previous day. Sugar was overpowered by Moran and the members of the Peony Association. I rushed over her to the hospital and thus was unable to see how everything panned out. Moran dealt swift justice to Fog Hollow, according to the mandates of the underworld. I looked at I look at my phone. The text I sent Moran yesterday still shows as unread. I should head to the Peony Association. We were waiting for you to show up. It's been a while. Welcome, mister. Why are you guys here? Where's Moran? Mustang wanted to see her. Do you know when she'll be back? Hard to say. It seems that even Mustang has some difficulty covering this up this incident. We're not sure whether the information was accidentally leaked or done so intentionally. It's even reached the Ark. You saw the news, didn't you? I did. We've confirmed that Sixa was the one who framed Moran and besmirched her name. But why? Fog Hollow was Peony Association's territory, and it was the only place where mist could be produced. Perhaps her greed got the best of her, and she wanted to get Moran out of the picture so she could have it all for herself. The mist is even more dangerous than we thought. It's highly addictive, and there are people everywhere begging for it. Is there a cu any cure? None that we know of so far. There are addicts causing trouble all over the Outer Rim. You saw a taste of it yourself when you went there. <laughs> people experiencing hallucinations are highly aggressive and become impervious to pain. Murder and assaults, and assaults have skyrocketed. This is bad. To be frank, if this continues... I have a bad feeling that we might have to dispose of those who are addicted in order to regain a semblance of order. But if it comes down to that, we have plenty of addicts to deal with. If we don't do anything, the damage done to the Outer Rim will be tremendous. I'm considering discussing this. I'm considering discussing with Mustang potential ways to isolate the addicts. I think about peop the people affected by mist. Separating them sounds like the best option. Have you found anything about Sixo's whereabouts? No. We've searched everywhere, but haven't found so much as a single clue. She's quite skilled. She's been getting rid of any in she's been getting rid of any incriminating evidence and tampering with all information. As a result, the Peony Association has hit rock bottom. What? You mean the Peony Sixo apparently had a hand to play when it comes in the meat to the media. People take the news at face value and don't ask any questions. Because of that, Moran has been made out to be a psychotic psych psychotic who destroyed Fog Hollow merely for her own and the Peony Association's benefit. No one has any idea about the truth and they don't want and they don't have any desire to find out. We can't just leave it to like this. Sixo has launched a flagrant assault on the Underworld Queen's turfs. Should the Peony Association fall, it will have a significant impact on the Underworld Queen. That is why we need to make we are making our own move. What are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? We're going to track Sixo down and make her regret the day she was ever born. We're going to give her a taste of her of underworld justice. And we're going to administer it nice and slowly. Sheesh. Sheesh. I wonder what we'll see at the end of the hard mode. After all that, I deserve a compliment. Usually there's like a cutscene at the end of hard mode. I don't normally put it in my videos, guys, and I, I, I don't, I'm not going to put it in today because it's not out yet, but uh, I wonder, oh, I can't buy it all because I didn't do this. Okay, now I can go to the shop. Now I can get all of this. Give me all that. Nom, 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 nom. And I got five. Let's get this. 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 Okay, and now I've got 60. Um, if I get this, I can upgrade once. 
think. I'm not gonna do the challenge. I don't care. I can do it. I can do it later. Uh, let's see. Is there anything cool in here? What is in here? Why is it saying this? I, I don't care. Sometimes I get that cheap one. It's not, it's not a bad deal. It's not a great deal. <clears throat> Hope you put it to good use. Um, you can take your time, Commander. Anyone good in here? They never add anyone good. I've got like 700. I was hoping, you know, they would add new characters to this lineup in here, and they never do. It's always like the same ones, so I don't really know what to Welcome, do about that. Maybe Doesn't I just need to like overpower like someone obvious or something. Another successful it's got a lot. Yeah, it's got a lot. I don't Can need, I help I don't you? Looking to get something on the up and up? I don't need that. Are you looking for? See, Take look at this. I would buy like. this, but like I've got four thousand of them. I'm never going to use four thousand of these guys. Like, there's like they need to figure out a reason for me to use these because I've got so many of these, and I don't need them. And what's the max I could get here? I could buy two hundred of these. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'd rather buy them on sale. We have everything in saw teeth. <sighs> Entire buildings, um, you name it, I can make it for you and fast. Okay, let's do a recruit. Okay. Give me Moran. I want Moran. Please give me Moran. This game has not been nice to me. It's not given me the characters lately. Please give me Moran. I would like her. She seems cool. I want the underworld bosses. I didn't get her. That's unfortunate. Um, oh well. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, guys. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> um. Well, that's a bummer. I was really hoping to get her. Um, can I at least look at her? Uh, here we go. Uh, let's look at her abilities, if I even like her. So she is an assault rifle, would like that. She is a Tetra, not too fond of that. I need things other than Tetra. She's a defender. Mm. Um, activates the start of Her defense goes up with every 1% of health loss. I wonder if that includes healing. Activates when landing 5 normal attack. That's kind of pretty interesting. I wonder if that means like when she's healing as well. Because then you could get like over 100%. And that's a lot. Uh, leave it to me. Activates when firing. The final bullet affects 3 enemies. Taunt for 4 seconds. Don't like taunt. Uh... Increases her HP. That's pretty good. So she taunts people to get hit. So I guess that does make her pretty good. So as long as you keep her healed up, she will inc like increase defense like continuously and max health. That seems pretty good. Um, but I guess that, that means this gets decreased lower and lower every single time. But this is limited. Um, fair and square. Change the weapon and use... Uh, what? I don't really understand that. Change the weapon in use? I don't know what that means. Um, she's only got one weapon. Yeah, I don't know. That's a weird one. That's a weird one. Mr. Grinch. Um, okay, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, sorry I didn't have the last event, and this is a little bit late, but I'm going to try and be more punctual with the future events, because I love Nikkei, and, uh, we'll get it done. But, that's it for now. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh...